Okay, so today I will be talking to y'all about heart disease. My family suffers from heart disease. Both my grandfathers have had heart disease and my father is starting to show symptoms of having heart disease, which is very scary. Heart disease is the number one killer in the United States alone. Men and women both suffer from heart disease. It is not gender specific. One in four people have it, and there's five of us in this room, so odds are not in our favor. Uh, 735,000 people suffer from heart attacks each year, which is a lot of heart attacks that can be prevented because, because heart disease is preventable. You can simply not smoke, you can exercise regularly, regularly, eat healthy, and just keep your stress levels down, which is hard to do as college students. No one knows when heart disease was discovered or who particularly discovered it, but Leonardo da Vinci, while he was studying the human body and all his other inventions, discovered or was investigating the artery and the coronary arteries of the heart. And his studies led to William Harvey's studies, who was a physician for King Charles I. While he was a physician for King Charles I, he discovered how the heart pumps blood through the lungs which circulates back to the heart and that's one of the circulations of the heart that the body has. His William Harvey studies later went to help out Frederick, Frederick Hoffman's studies. Uh, he was a professor at the University of Hale. Uh, he discovered the reduction size of blood vessels and the clotting of something he didn't know what but something in the blood vessels which was by later scientists discovered as heart disease. Uh, I found this information on healthline.com if y'all would like to go and research some more for yourself because it is more detailed on the websites. On lifescience.com, it explained to me more of what heart disease actually is and helped me understand better what it is. Heart disease is the buildup, or the main one coronary, for coronary arteries, is the buildup of cholesterol in your veins, which blocks the blood flow, which can severe, the severe cases can cause a heart attack. A heart attack, the symptoms of a heart attack are shortness of breath, chest pain, neck or back pain, shoulder or arm pain. Men usually have more chest pain than women. Women usually have shortness of breath, nausea, or fatigue. Um, those are some symptoms of heart attack. Once again, heart disease is preventable. You can simply eat healthy, not smoke, and exercise regularly to have a healthy heart and be able to live longer, hopefully with your family and friends. So, they have, there are some treatments for heart disease. Heart disease, you can have surgery, like a heart replacement, or you can have a balloon or mesh tubes put into your veins to help your, your blood either be pumped or just flow gently and easily through your veins. Uh, there are also some medications that can be taken like bare aspirin to help prevent or if you already have one prevent another heart attack and depending on the severity of your heart disease the doctors have more things they can do for you. Um, also, LifeScience.com gave me the information about the surgeries that you can have if you would like to go and research more because they are detailed. They, the website has it more detailed in like how it all happens and how to get more information about the diseases and the surgeries. On Today.com, uh, they did an interview with Dr. Richard Schwartz, who is a physician, and uh, him and his team are doing studies on stem cells and stem cells are from your spine and they're like new cells that really don't have a purpose but they can be transformed into anything. Um, he, they were placing stem cells in your heart trying to teach the heart to grow new vessels when the other ones are damaged by, by a heart attack or by cholesterol. So hopefully in the future when this is more profound and established we will have be able to get rid of heart disease altogether. Heart disease is preventable as long as, hopefully, if you just eat healthy, don't smoke or drink, and exercise, which can be very fun. Thank you.